Hey there Windowers and welcome to another episode of Windows on Windows, part of the series on the development of Windows 98. In this episode we'll be taking a look at Windows 98 build 1569, a beta 2.1 build compiled on the 18th of August 1997, about a month after build 1546. And this build is interesting not because it necessarily has any major new features but it does have quite a selection of small new features which nevertheless are very interesting. So without further ado, let's dig in and let's start. So here we are at the desktop of Microsoft Windows 98 build 1569 and as usual the first thing I want to do is bring your attention back to the setup procedure that I showed you at the beginning of the video and the main change in the setup procedure of this build compared to build 1546 is the wording of some of the so-called setup billboards has changed. And straight away with this build there are a few changes that you can see here on the desktop. Let's start with probably the two most obvious ones. So the first one is that there's now a new channel bar and this did make its way into the final version of Windows 98 and it acts basically like a very small directory to links basically internet pages. So you can see there are a few default options here. We've got MSNBC News, Microsoft Network, Disney and so on. We've got a few categories down here. Now this machine doesn't have an internet connection but I'll show you what would happen if you clicked one. So if you hover over it firstly there's a little tool tip. So for Disney we've got only from Disney the ultimate internet experience for the whole family feature. And if you click it it launches launches you into this full screen version of Internet Explorer that I showed you in build 1546 and it looks pretty much the same here. And the second most obvious new feature here is this desktop wallpaper or should I say this active desktop and this was introduced in or by build 1559. If you see if I put my mouse on this it's actually a hyperlink so if you click this and again I don't have an internet connection but it looks like it would have taken you to the Windows beta page for Codename Memphis on the Microsoft website. There are a couple of other small changes here and really it's just new icons. So previously up to build 1546 the My Computer and Network Neighborhood icons were actually the icons that were included in the plus 95 pack for Windows 95. Here you can see that they're now actually changed and they have become the final icons that made their way into the final release of Windows 98. So the My Computer icon here is very slightly different to the Windows 95 icon but but nevertheless it is different and the network neighborhood icon is the Windows 95 network neighborhood icon. So let's have a look in the start menu and there are a few changes here. First of all the banner in the start menu has now actually reverted from Windows 98 back to Memphis which is kind of interesting although not really that unexpected. If you've seen my Windows Vista series then I think in one of the episodes there I talked about the fact that very often different teams at Microsoft would be working on different builds of Windows at roughly the same time so it wasn't really unusual to see features in certain builds and then not in other ones. So yeah this could be and I'm just speculating here this could be just just another example of that sort of thing happening. So another change on the main start menu here is there's now no link to Windows Update whereas there was previously. And then a couple of other changes are if we go into the settings menu here we actually have two new options. So we've got a dedicated option for settings for folders and icons. And this takes you to the folder options dialog box. And I mean this has changed. So there's slight changes to some of the wording here. There's obviously a new picture. Also, if we go into settings, we now have a section in here specifically for options for the active desktop. Also, you may notice that the advanced tab has now been lost and actually all of those settings have now just been amalgamated into the view tab. In addition, actually, to lots of new options as well. And if you're familiar with Windows 98, you can probably see that this is very similar to how this tab would look in the final release. And the other option is the option for active desktop. From here you can hide or show your active desktop so you can see if I turn it off it just goes back to the uh, very familiar default 98 background. Let's put it back on and then we can also go to customize. That takes you to this tab in display properties much like in the final version of 98 where you can basically customize what web content you have on your desktop. And then lastly, we've got an option for update now. So this will just manually refresh all of the internet content basically that you have as part of your active desktop. Okay, so then if we go into the programs menu on the start menu, we now have a few other little things here that we can have a look at. Firstly, let's have a look now at welcome to Windows and see how that's changed. So actually straight away here, you can see it has a new icon. And 
and then hopefully here you can notice that we do have now an actual different video inside the welcome to windows app and then just like in build 1546 it takes us to this second page where we've got some options on the left hand side this is slightly different although not much different to build 1546 we still have a link to the registration wizard for example and you can see that looks exactly the same and then we've got discover windows 98 which looks like it's meant to take you to a tour but that is not available here that would come later and then we've got a link just like in 1546 again to the tune up wizard albeit with a slightly different name and if you press continue again that tries to take you to this tool which like i said it doesn't exist in this build clearly so that's not going to work so a couple of other changes to included programs and outlook express has now been promoted to the main programs menu whereas previously it was in the internet explorer menu it also has a new splash screen and a slight redesign i didn't actually look at this in build 1546 and it looks like it may have crashed actually um, and also interestingly we have two icons in the quick launch so one is for outlook express like i've just showed you the other one is labeled launch mail however if you click this it actually literally just goes to outlook express so it has a different name different icon but it just literally launches the same program so there you go it's outlook express or bust this build also includes i believe the debut of microsoft net meeting and this is basically a precursor to programs like skype so you can see here it enables you to communicate with others over the internet you can talk to others use video share applications and documents and so on and you can see it says a beta one on the splash screen and obviously it's not going to find the server because I don't have an internet connection. But look at this. This UI is very similar to the UI for Outlook Express. So you can clearly see that Microsoft were really trying to integrate everything. So yeah, let's have a quick look around. So we've got a call button here and you can put in a network address of the person that you'd like to call. You can join a meeting. We've got a chat option here. So this is the chat box. And we've also got an option for the whiteboard, which is very much like MS Paint. So here you go, you can share all your important doodles on here. You can even take screen grabs and paste them onto the whiteboard, which is really useful actually. And then the same here. So this is actually all very similar to functionality that you get in modern communication programs lock it and you can give a remote pointer and you can move this around to show people what you're pointing at with your blue hand uh, and then we've got some options here so I won't go through all this but you can see there's definitely a lot of options probably much more than you get nowadays in things like Skype now there is one more new program that I found in this build although it's not in the start menu it's actually accessed through the Windows folder and it's what looks like a system tool. It doesn't have any options and it's called Win Align. And like I said, there's no options. It doesn't say what it does, although it looks like from the icon and the name that it's something to do with lining up partitions on the hard disk. So, I mean, if you run this program, it just does this. And this is literally all you see, just processing and then it'll finish and that's it. So yeah, again, if you know anything more about this, please let me know. I'd be really interested to find out, but that's, all I know about this one at the moment. Okay, so let's have a look at what's changed in Explorer in this build. I did touch on this a minute ago about the web view in folder options. So there are some different defaults in Explorer in build 1569. Firstly, and you may have noticed this, we now have a return by default to the single click option for folders. So by that, I mean, if you hover your cursor over a folder or an icon, it will automatically select the icon or folder. And if you single click, it will then go into that folder. And another change that we have in Explorer is again, by default, we now have the text labels on the window icons. And this again would make its way into the final version of 98. Now, as for the web view itself in this build, and that's just maybe notice it's actually turned itself off and I'm not sure why. This design is different to the web view in build 1546. And actually between build 1546 and this build, specifically 
in build 1559 or by build 1559 there was a different design to webview which was more of a teal color so it fitted in a lot better with the default 98 wallpaper however now it's actually blue and you can see it looks much tidier now than it did in previous builds so you don't have that ugly black sidebar on the right hand side anymore it's now much cleaner much nicer and you may have seen this a minute ago so if you hover over some system folders it will give you descriptions on the left hand side if we go into control panel it does a similar thing with control panel applets and i mean this is not a new thing it has been in previous builds however it does look a lot more finalized and fleshed out here um, and since i'm in control panel there's a few things in here that i wanted to show you as well so firstly let's go to add remove programs and then windows setup and what I've done this time is I've actually made sure that I've included all the optional features out of the box. However, there is a new one here that I have not seen before and it's in Internet Tools and it's called Microsoft Wallet. So it says it enables you to shop securely on the Internet. Now, I have not found the program for this in this build, so I'm not sure where the actual executable file is. I'm not really sure what it does apart from what it says in this description. Also, I wanted to show you something in the network applet. If we go to add and then client, we have an option here under Microsoft called Microsoft Family Logon. Now, I'm not gonna actually add this because I've tried doing it a few times and it basically ends up crashing the build and it becomes unusable. So I'm not gonna add it here, but I'm gonna give you a little description about what this is and kind of where it came from. This is something that debuted in an earlier build and this is one of the things that, and this usually happens, it's just something that I didn't notice at the time. So there's usually one or two things that I tend to miss, which is why I always say to you guys, do have a look at these builds yourself and let me know in the comments of the videos if you ever find anything that I've not mentioned. I went back and checked. So in build 1400, this was not present. However, in the next build that I looked at, build 1525, this was present. So if you go through this and set this up, basically what you get is a new logon screen, which is really nice. So yeah, the screenshots that you're seeing at the moment, these are the Microsoft Family logon screens from builds 1525, 1546, and this build, which interestingly has a graphic of a Windows 95 logo, which is really weird, as this was never in Windows 95. The Microsoft Family Network client did make its way into the final release of 98, and basically it's just an alternative login screen, like I said. Kind of related to that, this new user wizard in this build is also slightly different. At the very end, here and again this made it into the final release of 98 you have some options where you can choose basically which folders you want this new user to have their own versions of and also whether you want the new user account to start with the duplicates of the current folders or whether you want to literally create all empty folders so that the new user can start afresh. And one last change in Explorer, you may have noticed here a new option under my computer called web folders and this did make its way into the final version of 98 and if you're not sure what this is again we can go to our tooltip on the left hand side and it says here you can create shortcuts to web folders on your company's intranet or the world wide web to publish documents to a web folder or manage the files in it click on its shortcut. So yeah basically it's a way to access files that you may have on a server so basically you type in the location of your server here, which obviously for me is not gonna work because number one, I don't have one, and number two, the machine doesn't have an internet connection, but you can put the URL in and then it will check and validate it. And then if it does succeed, then it will ask you for your login if that's appropriate and then basically you'll just get an icon in here and you can double click on the icon and then proceed to manage your files. And just before I go, I didn't look in the display properties in this build because nothing's actually changed from the previous build. However, I did realize that I'd been running the build in 256 colors rather than 32-bit colors. So that would explain, in case you noticed, why in this build, in my footage, you didn't see any gradients in the title bars. That feature is present in this build, but like I said, because I was running at 256 colors, you didn't see it. Okay, and that's everything that I've discovered in build 1569. As usual, let me know in the comments if you do come across anything that I missed here. And yeah, hope you've enjoyed this episode. I will see you in the next one.